Roofs in Conan Exiles are hard. It's a game of balance and design, but even then it sometimes isn't quite enough, and you need those extra little features to sprinkle in and breathe some life into the roofing. Today I'll be teaching you 7 techniques you can use to build better roofs. So without further ado, let's get started. We begin with this small Aesir home. It's balanced, but boring, and the roofing is really the monotonous cherry atop the average cake. So let's spice it up. Firstly, sloping overhangs. These are easy. You simply place inverted sloping sides onto the walls beneath the roof level on either side. When they're up, you can then build another roof segment that overhangs the building, and if you need to, you can move the wall cap up to the end. Simple and straightforward, this addition works well and adds a nice bit of shape to the build. Aesir also has a unique method using the quarter pillars and the vaulted ceiling toppers, which results in a different, though still very attractive design. This is currently only available with the Aesir set, but it is a nice alternative to have if you are using this material pack. Overall, sloping overhangs work really well and sometimes it's all you need, but in this case, it's not enough to save this roof. So let's do a little more. Triangular accents are really easy. Grab some sloping sides and place them atop the walls, ideally equally spaced out as they look a bit strange otherwise. Then place inverted corner roof pieces to match the sloping sides and smooth back into the normal roof design. I've used this many times, it's simple and easy to do and works really well. It fits lots of different aesthetics and designs and adds a lot more to the shape of this roof. However, there is one more thing we can do that should salvage this build. Raised segments are also quite easy. Cut out a segment of the roof, ideally in the centre, and build a small box or rectangle. It's good to use windows or something here for a bit of textural change too. Add roof gables and roof pieces atop it, either with or against the grain of the roof, and you're done. Ray segments like this are an easy and effective way to create a level change. It offers a little more structure and shape, and can often make the difference in an overly flat roof. With those three techniques, I think we've managed to salvage this build, but there's still four more techniques to look at, so we should probably get into those. If you want to see future videos before anyone else, including guides like these, builds, lore videos, etc., check out the Patreon linked in the description. Not only do our esteemed coffee cultists support the channel and get videos early, they also get wallpapers, video credits, discord rolls, and more, so do check out the Patreon if you enjoy the content. Shameless plug over, let's get back to the roofs. Time to salvage another build, and this time it's a medieval townhouse. The structure is fine, but ugh, god that roof. So let's fix it. Firstly, roof dormers, basically just windows in the roof. You want to spread these out evenly, not too many, and make sure they're balanced across the length of the roof. Place a window, either a normal one or a real one using the gate trick, and then smooth it back into the roof using sloping sides. Throw a wall cap on top, and then a rooftop end piece to cover it and again smooth it back into the roof. Do that for each dormer. You can do this either on one or both sides if you prefer, and our roof dormers are complete. Additionally, you can also put doors into real windows if you like. If your roof is entirely made of normal roof pieces, you will have to use the rooftop end pieces as mentioned earlier. However, if your roof finishes with a rooftop piece instead, you can merge the rooftops together for a much cleaner finish. If you're a bit picky like me, you may prefer to use dormers like that, I know I definitely do, but they can work on basically any roof as long as you balance them out, and they are pretty easy to construct. They work nicely on this design, however, there's more we can do. A cupola is a small structure atop the roof. In this case, we're going to build a 2x2 two two one tile high box in the centre of the roof, and we're going to top it off with roof corner pieces for a simple addition that elevates and crowns the roof nicely. Cupolas work pretty well, they're similar to the raised segments from the Aesir build, though generally right in the middle and not as large as the length or width of the roof. If we combine some of the stuff from the previous build together, this medieval townhouse completely transforms and is made much nicer. We've got two more roof additions left, so let's head north and see those. 
This tower is alright, but it just needs a little something, you know? It's worth mentioning these tips will work on square or round towers, I just think the first one works a bit better on round ones. So that said, let's save the tower. Risers look complicated, but are actually very simple. Build a crescent of walls around one or multiple sides of your roof, increasing and then decreasing in height. Smooth those steps out with sloping sides, top it off with a wall cap if necessary, and your risers are done. You can also do this on balconies or additional roofs to further accentuate the effect. Risers are great, I use these every chance I get. They give a lot of shape to the structure and often end up as the most visually impressive part of the design. The riser here is what I would call a hooded riser, but you can use two or three risers on the same roof for a vastly different, though still very impressive effect. However, I think there's one more finishing touch we can do. I've had a few questions about getting a flag atop a roof, and it's easy. Place ceilings beneath the finish of your roof, place your flag right in the centre, and then place your finishing roof pieces. Now this does not work for all flags. It definitely works for the Siptar pirate banners, which are arguably the best, and the base game clan emblem flag, with mixed results amongst the other banners. You kind of have to try and see what works and what doesn't. This trick is pretty nice. It adds just that little extra touch that, admittedly, not all roofs need, but some will definitely benefit from. I showed this example on a round roof, though it does also work on square roofs too. The ease of use might change between roof types, as some are definitely thicker than others, but this generally works fairly well, especially in combination with other roof additions. So with our 7 tips covered, let's quickly recap. Sloping overhangs are great for shape and depth. Triangular accents add even more shape and structure to your roof. Raised segments introduce an easy and welcome level change. Roof dormers offer extra windows and help to break up boring roofs. Coppolas crown the roof nicely and offer a very small but welcome level change. Risers can massively improve shaping and make the build more visually impressive, and flags in the roof are a small yet very nice touch that can elevate some towers or roof structures. I made a video a few years ago now about roofs in general, but these smaller additions are really sometimes all you need when you have a simple build and it would really shine with just those extra few finishing touches on the roof. That's what I've tried my best to teach you today and hope you've all found it useful. Thank you for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. I hope these tips prove helpful. Roofs are indeed one of Conan's hardest building hurdles, so these tips ideally should help with that. Let me know if you'd like to see some similar videos for other facets of building in the future. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.